Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Limbrin. This is Minecraft 1.16 episode 20. And in the last episode we built this bee farm. I've been AFKing here for a bit. We have like, you know, a bit of honey. I don't actually need that much, so I haven't been AFKing here too much. But um, I also added something to this farm between the last episode and now, which is this little button. Um, what this little button does, if I press it, it's going to do nothing. Um, but if we go out, out there, it's... A reset button so you press it it retracts this and that pretty much makes it so if any of these are full it will force the dispensers to try and uh, collect the honey again and it needs to do that because if it if it tries to collect the honey it doesn't have bottles it just gets stuck so I've added that button in to fix that problem um, because that happened once while I was AFK overnight but while I'm AFK here um, as it is very nearby the wool farm is actually loaded, and it's gotten a bit, like it's up to there, and the rest of these are full, except for, of course, the shears chest. And I've taken out, um, well, I did take out, um, nine shulker boxes worth of, um, worth of wool, and those nine shulker boxes worth of wool are all currently in the nether. You might ask why I have nine shulker boxes of wool in the nether, and I don't actually have nine. I've already used that much of that one and all of these two, but they're in the nether because I've been carpeting this area. It looks... Oh, and he's invisible again. He is there. That uh, wither skeleton will actually start tracking him if I go far enough away that the wither skeleton stops being interested in me. Yeah, there... Eat your... It's a farm. You're supposed to get farmed. But there is indeed a uh, pigment still here. If I go right up to him, I'm not wearing gold. Um, yeah, you just heard him. Okay, and there we go. He attacked me. So, cool. Yeah, he is still there. And, um, so I don't... There's, like, no way to say that he's there, but he's he's there. You can hear him. Um, although he's invisible every now and then, which is very weird. But I'm here because I AFK'd here overnight, and I got a lot of stuff. 26 wither skeleton skulls, plus a lot of coal and bones. And that has worked so well because of over here, I have carpeted every single brown block in the radius. This is outside the radius. It kind of just goes along here. And gas can break carpet, and it is very annoying to have them uh, be here. But... I have made a ton of progress in carpeting, which is good. And I'm just going to do all of this off camera because, well, it's quite dull. Oh, there we go. We got some. Yeah, he's... Oh, now now he's loaded in. Hi, guys. One minute. There we go. Now they've all gone after him. But as you can see, he's actually there now. And I gave him some more pants or some more clothes to make him even more like me. Because I have some neon green short uh, shoes and some light blue uh, pants and a shirt, and I gave him all of that because I don't know. I don't know. I already gave him my head, may as well uh, give him the rest of my clothes as well. <laughs> um, either way, yeah, I'm gonna keep wor uh, working on carpeting this off camera, but the first thing I want to do in this episode is actually make a storage system for this that is not just, well, this, because, well, you know, it's it's not the best two chests. In fact, it did actually overflow when I AFK'd overnight here. So, I can go gather some resources, and l then let's get building. I've gathered resources, and construction is already well on its way. I've put in, um, like, I don't know, 12 double chests. I think I'm going to do uh, three more, so I can have two for bones and uh, coal, and then one row for wither skeleton skulls. Not that I'll ever really get that many, but I have to have a whole row for everything, so... All I have to do now is add in some more hoppers, some filters, and a auto trasher for the stone swords. So, let's uh, get to it. The redstone is in, in addition to an automatically refilling uh, respawn anchor. And it's currently filtering all of the items that we got in last night's AFK session. I've kind of just thrown them into um, the dropper line. And it's slowly doing that with these filters. I have two... Um, Places for coal and bones, I believe is this one, yeah. And then I have one row for wither skeleton skulls, as I had said before. 
and the next thing to do is this area isn't the prettiest, so, uh, well, let's make it look good. And the beautification is done. I went with kind of a cave style. Sadly, I do still have to have the floor covered in carpet to make it spawn proof. Um, but, yeah, I have, like, you know, caves with hanging soul lanterns. I have the respawn anchor in the corner over there, as well as a view of the dog. Ooh, XP. And an ender chest kind of in that corner, and you just get in by flying in through this hole, uh, which is right here. You can still see some of the redstone through uh, there or through these, but I don't really care that much. And now that I've done that, um, the rest of the work on this project is going to happen off camera, which is just carpeting stuff. So, let's get on with the next thing, and that is going to be a blaze farm, because we've built a chorus fruit farm. It is a dangerous place. And that is half of what is needed to make... Um, end rods and end rods are something I'm going to need a lot of for my uh, mountain base back in the main area this thing it requires a lot of rods there's already a decent I would like you to stop rocket there we go okay that was one rocket um yeah we've already used a decent amount of end rods like there's some on the tower. This makes me... Because I'm... I'm stuck here. Ow. That there's... Um... This is a predicament. After a decent bit of punching Blackstone with my fists and walking back here... Um... I have got my stuff back, along with a new one of my heads, and no pants. Um, that's, that's not ideal. They should just be cool. No creepers, creeper. I said no. <laughs> Here they are. Can put those back on. And now I can finally go inside here with my point of there's a lot of end rods. There's like a ton there and there. Yeah, there's a few. So, we're going to make a blaze farm, but we're not going to make it at the nether fortress we were at earlier because that one's a little far away. I mostly use that one because it had a good place for a wither skeleton farm. But we are going to use a different nether fortress. Um, that one kind of indirectly takes me to it, but the better route is just over here. Yeah. Um, I've had this one for a while, but it, I think, it stopped kind of spawning wither skeletons because of an update, and it's annoying, but the blaze spawners should still work as they're not actually tied other than generation to the nether fortress, and also, no thanks, Hoglin. Um, if I am not mistaken, there, yeah, there's a blaze spawner here. Yeah, it, it works. Um, I also think that simply doing this is not quite enough to stop blazes from spawning, because they can, yeah, they can spawn at, um, much higher light levels than other, uh, monsters. So I think, um, if I do this, it might be enough. If I just cover everything in torches. This should work, for now at least. Um, yeah, we're gonna be using that blaze. Did I just hear a blaze? No. Okay, we're good. Yes, there's one there, but I don't care. We're gonna be using that blaze spawner, and I don't think, I don't think there's a better one anywhere. I mean, there's more, there's another one, I think, down here somewhere, but, um, yeah, probably, but we're just going to use this one because it's nice and close by, and I guess I'll go gather the resources. The only resource I actually had to gather were observers. I had everything else. It's just kind of, um, some purple stuff, some black stone, but I've also gone ahead and dug this hole and made a little, um... Nether Fortress Stair- Hi, Hoglin. No? No, stop that. Mm, 
we're good. I made a little staircase going down to here. Obviously, I haven't built the structure yet, but up here, uh, these layers of stuff, if I can uh, land on them, there we go. Um, right here, that's the blaze spawner, and that is why I have these here. Is that a piglet? I hear a piglin's crossbow. They can spawn down here. Is there? No, there's not. Either way, yeah, that's to prevent blazes from spawning because of all the blocks there. They just don't have any spaces. And I made this little staircase, and it just kind of comes out to here. But now that I have got, got the resources and, you know, made a hole, we can actually build the big glass box that's going to surround that along with all of... Good. Um, along with all of the, like, storage system and stuff. So, let's get building. I repositioned the staircase because it was kind of in the way of my build, but... The build is done, kind of. I put in some support pillars here. I decided to leave it decently cavey. I might detail these walls because they're very blank currently. Um, but as you might be able to notice, I haven't put anything else in. There's no chests here, and the my netherrack and various stuff is still up there. So the next step is uh, to get those in. Those are in. We have chests. This is a dropper line that leads everything up, and there's a little minecart and a hopper there that I'm going to um, put a block in. Well, put it inside of a block. I'm using netherite because it looks good, and that is the only reason. And there we go. This is the blaze like killing chamber, I guess. They fall down here. You can whack them with your sword. It, but one problem is mobs can actually spawn in this area so there could be like a blaze that spawns up here and then wanders over to here and kills you so if you don't want that to happen you can go right in here and now you're completely safe nothing can really hit you a, a blaze could technically hit you through there but eh, I don't really feel like um, fixing that and I don't think it will ever happen if I die to a blaze the first time I AFK here um, I'll fix it but for now, I'm not going to. Um, I didn't end up design, uh, detailing the walls. I might do that um, at some point later. But the next thing we need to do is put um, lava in here. So the blazes all get pushed down into uh, this little hole where they can die and get their stuff collected. I went ahead and grabbed a potion of fire resistance to make this, well, less dangerous. And if I did this right, that should... Yep, it goes right down to there, which is exactly where we want it. And now we can just put in all of these lava sources. So pretty much the blazes will um, fall down from up above and fall into the lava where they will um, get pushed because they can't burn. They just get pushed all the way into um, this hole. And then... That is where they get killed by the Looting Three Sword for maximum um, stuff, I guess. And I probably shouldn't have not stopped. <laughs> that was a sentence that my brain tried to make and it didn't really work. Um, I still have fire resistance. I can do that because nothing here is flammable, probably. Um, I need to get up there to destroy all of those blocks so that um, the blazes can actually spawn. We have a minute. It's fine. This won't take that long, probably. As soon as I break any blocks and destroy those torches, blazes are... Yep, there's one. Um, if you could not knock me off of the tower, would be greatly appreciated. Um, if I can get over to here, there we go. Um, so now, if you're just in the proximity of it, it will spawn blazes, and they will fall into the lava, where they will get pushed into the healing chamber, and it should work, well, well, I mean, it's a pretty simple farm, so, now that all those blocks are gone, all the blazes are spawning, and they're getting funneled down into, well, 
Hopefully, they're getting funneled down into this area. Yeah, the lava's pretty slow. It doesn't move them very fast, but it moves them, and that's all that really matters. I'm gonna go into the fun killing chamber, because it's fun. And they, I think maybe if I go in here, they can hit me, but really, they can't actually hit me at all. So you just sit here. Um, if I AFK, I'll put on a macro, so it just does this. The sword will never break, because... It's... What are you doing? There you go. Uh, because I get XP. It's actually a pretty good XP farm. I could probably, um, repair my pickaxe. Yeah, if I do that for long enough, it'll repair the pickaxe. But, um, I think that's pretty much the farm. Let's see if we got, yeah, we got 18 blaze rods just from that little bit. So, yeah, it's pretty productive. I don't entirely know how much time I've left in this episode. Turns out we have about four minutes left in the video, depending on how much longer this video it is. It might be more like six. But uh, I also added a new feature. I think there's netherrack in there. Good. Um, is press this button right to get in here. You saw that extends. It doesn't do it for much for very long. If I press this button and I kill all of the blazes, there's a block there now. And that is so, let's say, a zombified piglin would walk by and then I would punch it and it would get mad at me which would cause baby piglins that might get in here and kill me which would be a problem or it also prevents blazes from attacking me while I'm sitting here and when I press this button it goes down of course when you press the outside button it goes up for a second but uh, there wasn't really much I could do to prevent that so now that this is fully afkable I'm going to AFK here overnight, so I'll see you in the morning. Ah, good morning. It's um, the next day, and my screen is still blanked from AFK overnight because I wanted to have my genuine reaction of what has happened. So... Uh, um, I'm confused. Why am I... Why am I... Uh, did I... I guess I... Okay. I think I died, but then the macro hit respawn. Okay. Weird. So, how did I... I starved. I did not think that hitting things starved you. Okay. That's a problem. So, I guess to fix that, I could have food in my offhand. Um, to, you know, eat. And then just hold down right click as I may have cane. I guess that would probably work. Yeah. Okay, we're at the blaze farm. Almost, although... Ow. I'm very worried there's gonna be, like, um, some monsters that have spawned here. And we're just... Why is that... Is that just how I made it? I don't feel like that's how I made it. Okay. Well, there's my stuff. Is this everything? So I'd imagine some stuff would get, um... Yeah, I don't know my bow. See, I need to press this. Oh no, okay, it's it's good. Cool. Um, I'd imagine yeah, there it is. Okay, we got a decent amount of blaze rods before I died. That's that's pretty good. Um, at least one shulker box worth. Um, so I guess yeah, I need to get a food that because I don't really want to use steak because I feel like that's a waste. Because, right, it's going to eat as soon as I am at... As soon as I lose one bar of hunger. Like, or half a bar of hunger, actually. So, I guess beetroot is only half a bar of hunger. Because that'll do. It doesn't need to heal me. It just needs to keep my hunger full so I don't starve to death. So, I guess let's go... Um, get some beetroot. So, it would appear that I don't have any beetroot. There's no beetroot in there, and there's no beetroot seeds in the organics chest and that's that's kind of a problem i guess i can go to a village to try and find some i don't think villagers will buy beetroot from you but they won't sell it so i guess i will just fly off in a direction and do this way because the last village i found was the other way so i'm gonna fly this way for a bit until i find a village, which hopefully won't be too long. Um, so, 
Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. And after, like, eh, we're pretty far out. They were about, like, 1,600 out in one direction and pretty close in the other. Uh, but we finally found a village. It's taken me so long, I went through all of the rockets I had and have had to refill. Now, I hope there are chests and, you know, general beetroot. Um... Yes! Okay, I do want more than one. Nope, that's carrots. Um, I'll give them the seeds back. They can replant. They're capable villagers. Okay, we've got three beetroot seeds. Uh, really, I only need one, but, you know, more is better. And it's almost nighttime. Gotta sleep. Um, I guess I'll finish collecting all of the beetroot seeds that are in this village, and then I'll head back to the base and start growing them up to get more beetroots. We're back, and now we wait. It's been quite a few harvests, but I finally have a full field of beetroot and can now just let it grow. Um, I have been stashing all of the beetroot I've gotten inside, and I think I wanna, I wanna do a full stack for tonight's AFK session. And I have 52. So I'm close. Actually, do I have bone meal? Because I might, I could just, you know, use that instead of things being slow. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. It's, I've been doing this for several hours. Um, well, maybe not several. It's been maybe like one, but still, um, I'm, I could just use all this bone meal. That's every last bit of bone meal didn't give me that much, but now we can break it all with a fortune hoe, I don't think this actually gets me more beetroot. I think it only gets me more seeds, but, um, yay, a stack and nine. So, now that I have that, I'm going to AFK with it overnight at the Blaze Farm. But, sadly, I think we're running out of time for this episode. So, if you enjoyed it, uh, feel free to hit the like button, and if you want to see more, then there's a place in the description. Also, you could subscribe and then find my videos easier. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, if you missed the previous episode, it's also linked in the description. Um, see you everyone in the next episode. Have a great day and bye.